Hello dears, welcome to Beauty for Heart. I'm Lily, as soon as they do. Today, I'll be sharing with you this very simple, easy to do Chinese New Year makeup look. Okay, I know not all of you dears are celebrating Chinese New Year. You may also like to use this makeup look as an inspiration for your Valentine's Day. Especially for you dears who are makeup beginners or just start to explore makeup. So if you'd like to know how to achieve this look, please stay tuned. And let's get started! First, then I'll start off with using primer. I'm going to start off with using this Suyu Organic Purple Color Corrector Floral Primer. Because we are very busy during the Chinese New Year, we need to do spring cleaning, we need to do visiting, running here and there, eat a lot of good food. <laughs> can be very very tired, so our skin will show the tiredness. So I'm using this purple color corrector to add radiance and it helps to brighten up our skin and make our skin look less tired. This floral color corrector primer helps to hydrate, protect and correct our skin imperfections. It also creates smooth and even canvas for our makeup and make it more long lasting. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes. So next, I'm going to apply this Luminescent Floral Liquid Foundation. I really love the coverage because it is a very sheer natural coverage and gives you the glowing skin. Just nice for tired skin. The texture for this liquid foundation is very very fluid. You can use the silicone sponge blender to blend out first, then followed by the sponge blender. Because of the fluidity, the damp sponge blender can actually absorb the liquid foundation. So it will be a waste of products. So that's why I use the silicone sponge blender, then followed by the sponge blender. Next, going to apply the concealer onto my dark circles. You can use the concealer to any of the places that you want to conceal. So next, I'm going to apply this lip and cheek cream as my blusher. Use the spatula to pick up the amount first. Apply this cream blusher first before applying the powder. Otherwise, if the sequence is reversed, then the cream blusher may ball up. Apply the blusher at the higher part of the cheek to produce a more youthful look. And then use the sponge blender to blend. You can also use this cream blusher as the lip balm or a lipstick. If you like to do contour or bronzing, yeah, please do so. But because I'm focusing more onto the natural look, so I'll be skipping these two steps. Next, apply this very very finely milk loose powder onto the face and apply powder to the cream blusher. It will actually make the cream blusher more long lasting and also it will make the skin appear to be blushing from the within. It is important to choose powder that is very very finely milk so that it can adhere better to the skin and also give it to a more natural effect. Next, applying this highlighter to the high points of the face. This highlighter is made out of flower petals, bamboo, green tea and witch hazel extract. It's lightweight and velvety matte finish. This highlighter is more to the natural finish, great for daily work. Next, I'm going to use this brown pomade to draw my eyebrow. Apply more amount at the end of the eyebrow and towards the front, the beginning of the eyebrow, we will lighten it so as to have a gradient look. Use a tissue to wipe off the excess amount from the brush and then blend the beginning part of the eyebrow so that the beginning part will be lighter. Use this wand to remove the excess color. Next, 
layer up with this eyebrow gel to keep the brow in place. Next, I'm going to apply this sparkling eyeshadow as a single colour on the eyes. A lot of my friends and neighbours share with me that they do not dare to apply eyeshadow because firstly, they do not know how and secondly, their eyes is very small and eyeshadow will look weird on them. So today, I'm going to share with you you can use actually a very light colour on the eyelid and if you do not know how, just start off with single colours and you can use a very glittery or sparkling eyeshadow first it will bring out the eyes and, and it will also help to visually enlarge the eyes if you are more used to it, then you can apply 2 or 3 or even more colours on the eyes and also because during the Chinese New Year, we will be very busy running around visiting the house and also preparing for our house for visitors to come we do not have that much time to get ourselves prepared and draw up ourselves. So just use these single colors on the eyes. If for those who are not familiar drawing eyeliner, you can always apply short lines at a time and then join the lines together to form a long line. Because most of the time our hands are not stable. You can use liquid eyeliner or pencil eyeliner or gel eyeliner as long as you are familiar with it and it doesn't smudge on your eyes. For me, this Essence eyeliner doesn't smudge. Draw the lines as close to your lash as possible. And fan 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 for it to dry. Okay, while waiting for the eyeliner to dry, let me touch on with the lower lash line first. So again, I'll be using the same eyeshadow to do on my bottom eyelid. I always like to use light glitter colors on the lower lash line because it will open up the eyes and make our eyes look bigger and more innocent and more feminine. Still waiting for the eyeliners to dry, I'm going to apply this red lipstick. Okay, this is not as straight as you think because it has a very sure finish. It's like a lip balm. So if you like to have a tint of color and still wants the red but not that red red, you can use this lipsticks. Okay, during the Chinese New Year, there will be a lot of goodies and a lot of good food to eat. I will feel much safer with a lipstick that has lesser chemicals or you can always use a food grade lipsticks or a lesser chemicals organic lipsticks. See, the finish is very sheer, very lip balm like. So you can still enjoy the redness, yet not scary red. The next, curl the lashes followed by the mascara and then the fade lashes. Okay, it's actually up to you whether you want to apply mascara or fade lashes, whichever is more convenient to you. So yes, if you want to apply fit lashes, you can always trim the lashes first to fit your natural eye shape and the natural eye length. Tilt the lashes up and then slowly press the lashes in, especially at the end. The both ends will usually drop out first. Wait for the lashes to dry, then apply mascara and curl the lashes. To join the fake lashes and the natural lash together. Alright, the lashes is on, so let me touch up with the eyeliner so as to conceal the lash bands. Just simply draw it over again. And apply mascara to join your fake lashes and the natural lash together. If you find that the fake lashes is curled enough, then you need not curl. You can focus more on applying on the root so as to have a fuller look. Fuller lash look. Wait for the lashes to dry up again, then spray the face. Spray spray! 
the spray will make the makeup last longer. And fan 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 to speed up the drying process. Ta-da! All done! Done 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 done! Hope you just like this makeup look. Last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Discover new routes to success as you step into another great year. Okay, my battery is running very low now, so I need to end this ASAP. <laughs> so Dears, may you have a very happy Chinese New Year and for dears who are not celebrating the Chinese New Year, may you have a great Valentine's Day. Either spend it with your loved ones or by yourself because yes, we should love ourselves also. I think the lens is also a bit blurred now. Hopefully it's better. Okay, so may you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!